again, a free, it's a free app, and it's used with different Pioneer products, like, for example, Pioneer DJ SB2. SB2, it's Serato, but then they had to put in the record box, record box itself. So, as you can see, it's all, the interface is somewhere like this. And I don't know if I can, um, there's a browse knob, which is kind of clicky, and it's, of course, tapped out. So I can load any track using this thing. Looks like from uh, 
record box, which I don't have the term. The term is basically for adjusting the level of the track. Because as soon as you're playing a track, you see your level, it's going yellow, and you don't want that to happen because it's um, it can damage the speaker, it can damage something. So what you need to do is turn down the well, uh, the level. Make sure it stays at the green, the green. And if there's like if there's a faded uh, what you call that, if there's a fade uh, of yellow, it's alright. And then try and test your track before. There. It's, it's way better now. Um, I forgot to mention something. Why do we have headphones? Headphones are basically used for mixing both, uh, like to check if your first or second track is going to fit much with the text itself. So, for example, I'm going to play a track. And then if I play both tracks without uh, Without without beat matching, it's, it's gonna sound. It doesn't even sound like it's mixing already. It sounds like it's more messing up. So here's what you, you have to do. Pitch bending is one way to bring the bars back together. As you can see, see both bars, they're together now. You can use a synchronizer if you want. So that's it. Also, if you're more if you're trying to do a performance DJing or something, there's this thing called slip mode. Now slip mode, as you can see, um, there's no like something red, but if you, if you turn it on, no, okay, so slip mode is basically, if you're trying to play a track, and if you're like going to pause it, the track will keep on going. You see that you see that the black mark it's still ongoing. It means it's still on. So if I play it if I play it again, see? Even when we're starting to scratch, see? The track keeps on going. So this is basically good for those um, what you call that? It's basically good for performing if you're trying to do a draw or something, you you might need this. Okay, so moving on. The shift. Now you can do anything, you can do many things with the shift. For example, if I hold shift, if I move the juggle around, you can see, you can search through the track. Just like that. And then, also you can, uh, I, I forgot what you have. You can switch to sampler mode. And then you can do a manual loop as well. So if you're going to play a track, there's a manual loop. And you can do, uh, you can shorten off the loop by just doing this. Also we have, so in some DJs, some DJs, they have uh, knobs for controlling the effects. In here, the Pioneer DDG Amigo 3, or 4, or the whole series, they use jog effects for controlling the effect. For example, I'm gonna, uh, let's change it now. Let's change make it So, um, if, I, if I'm going to press effects one, you can hear something, something happening with the track. <laughs> Same with the FX2. Now this is called the phaser.
for Q. There's a there's a button here for Q. As you can see, when I'm pressing it, it, it lights up. Means you're going to focus on this uh, type of. Uh, you're gonna be focusing in this type of depth. Same with the V, and you can do master. In master, you can use you. You're gonna hear the whole thing from the software itself. So, oh yeah, let's talk about the hotkeys. Hotkeys are basically used for. Um, we have uh, different types of hotkeys. So if I press one. You can go back to the track. You can set the uh, more. <clears throat> you can delete it by using uh, the ship. So go to sampler. I'm not I'm sorry. You can hear different kinds of samplers like this. I 
Ini draft. 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 Ini dra